Stakeholders such as the Importers and Exporters Association of Ghana, the Ghana Union of Traders Association, and the Vehicle and Assets Union of Ghana have spoken passionately against the policy directive and called on the administration to reverse the decision, and it appears their wish has been granted. The Ghana Revenue Authority has deferred the implementation of the reversal of the benchmark values to Thursday, January 6, 2022. This is to allow importers who got their duty bill before the initial implementation date to pay and clear their goods. Addressing the media on the introduction and the deferment of the policy, the National Communication Officer of the NDC, Sami Jemfi, said the reversal of the benchmark value was a clear indication of economic mismanagement by the Akufuado led administration. The party also called for the complete withdrawal of the policy. They are paying more taxes and you are slapping them with more taxes. And so you cannot be doing all these things and turn around and say that I'm increasing import duty because I want to support local production. No, that is a bare-faced lie. You're doing it because you are broke and you are broke not because you've not gotten money. You've gotten a lot, but you have wasted seeing on ostentation, profligacy, and corruption. And you should not be punishing the ordinary Ghanaian with more of such draconian revenue measures because of your own recklessness and economic mismanagement. We share in the view espoused by Guta and the Importers and Exporters Association of Ghana that the GRA withdraws the statement announcing this measure, which will only go a long way to stifle the already burdened businesses in the country. And they must withdraw this immediately. We contend, ladies and gentlemen, that this is the time for the judicious and efficient use of taxes and the meager resources of states for the benefit of the Ghanaian people. It is not the time for more taxes and more draconian revenue measures. Enough of the wastage and ostentation being displayed by President Ekufu Adu and his government. From the headquarters of the National Democratic Congress, I am Kojo Achman reporting for City News.